Hi, I'm Joey Gasparic. I'm a Global Enterprise Account Executive here at Answer Rocket, and I'm joined with one of our great partners, Liz Davies, a Senior Insights Manager for the Europe team at AB InBev. And Liz, I want to talk about uh, our partnership so far, right, and where we're headed, because we've had a great partnership on the Brand Guidance team and working with uh, you know, nearly 100 folks of uh, helping them answer critical questions to the Brand Guidance data and to the use case. Uh, but when we look into the future, we, I want to talk about two use cases we have with Max AI and how it can help increase adoption and really help automate some, some manual analysis and some of those more complex questions. And that's around the decks that we're automating, those quarterly decks, uh, and also the brain guidance driver analysis skill. So what would be helpful is to understand what's the process like for the teams today when they're building these quarterly decks and, and uh, how long does that take? Sure. Well, firstly, it's very lengthy. Um, so we typically receive our brand guidance data about midway through the month after the end of the quarter. Um, at that stage, you know, our GCC team, so our data insight team and our global capability center have to manually extract all the data and start turning it into the reports that are much more digestible for the teams. Now, you know, certain reports we need to prioritize, our business critical reports, get them out as quickly as possible. So for our more standard brand reports, it might be, you know, two, three days before the team even start working on them. And then when they do start working on them, you know, it's a lot of manual effort to put them together and to get them looking great. You know, we do use certain tools to help speed up this, the process as much as possible. But ultimately, you know, each report can take one, two, three days, depending on the number of markets per brand, for example. And because we only have so many people, we have to stagger the delivery out to the brand teams. Uh, so some brands may be waiting one to two weeks to even receive their report in the first place. So yeah, it's quite a lengthy process. Yeah, and it's a tough decision to make as a business because, hey, we're going to prioritize who we go to first, right? Yeah. Because there's only so much time in the day when you're doing this manually, yeah. which means probably going to be those focus brands and the, the, the big money makers uh, are going to get the, the more of the attention up front. But you have a long tail of your business that still relies on this analysis to make decisions and uh, grow their brands and ultimately grow their share and, and earn more revenue. But even across our total European business, you know, we have a lot of focus brands. So yes, we have our kind of our big global brands, but then we have some key critical bets like things like Leopard, Triple Calm Elite, which is, you know, really growing in Europe. And we want to be able to prioritize everyone in the same way, but unfortunately, given the amount of time our reporting process takes, it's just not possible. Yeah, and, and one of the key aspects of this project is saying, let's cut down that, you know, one to three week long process of, of getting this deck when it's done manually to using Max AI to automate it in hours. Yeah, absolutely. And the ambition is that, you know, as soon as those data sets land, Max will automate the reports uh, and we get all the reports at the same time. And then we can circulate them around the business literally hours after those business critical results get cascaded. Yeah, that's huge, especially in the CPG space, being the first to market and, and first to understanding what's driving the, the consumer behavior. So uh, that, that's critical, right? And, and getting those reports is the first step, right? Yeah. Because then people get the reports and that's when the questions come in. And it's not the simple questions, it's, hey, why are we up here? Why are we down here? Uh, who are we winning against or, or who are we losing against in some cases? Yeah. And those are critical questions to answer. And that is where we fall into the driver analysis piece, right? Yeah. So why, uh, how do you get to those driver questions, those more, those more complex questions? Yeah, sure. Again, it's, you know, relatively manual. Uh, once the insights team receive their, you know, relevant brand reports, it is a question of going through the data in detail with that, you know, fine toothbrush to really pick out the story about what is happening with my brand in my market and piece together that narrative in a way that's going to be digestible but also compelling uh, and it's going to really land those key messages with the brand team and again that can take you know a couple of days if we want to have a really kind of valuable uh, and actionable storyline. Yeah and you told me many times that it'll be the senior leaders who go you know what's happening with yeah. Spotten in Germany or what's happening with this brand in a certain country yeah. uh, and to get there it's uh, like you mentioned it's a manual process. Now with Max we're automating that with the brand guidance driver analysis that yeah. Uh, once you once you see this and, and once we're able to, to demo this to the wider audiences, it really does a complete job of looking at metric drivers, of demographic drivers, of the competitive landscape and how you're uh, performing in uh, different markets and different brands. That Doing this in seconds really changes the game. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to save the insights team so much time. And it means that instead they can focus their time and energies on the things that really matter, which is that so what's for the business. 
what do our brand teams need to be doing now that we've seen the performance and understood what's driving it? And I know we've spoken a lot about you know the distinction between brand guidance, which is what we really want to be doing, you know, using this data to illuminate the pathway forward versus brand tracking, looking back, what's happened, explaining what's happened. And at the moment, you know, we spend so much time on the what's happened that, you know, we're really under, you know, under time pressures to be focusing more on the so what. And I think this is what Max is going to, you know, really empower us to be able to do and do it more effectively. Yeah, and we're excited about it to get you out of all the data wrangling, out of all the manual analysis, and more into that recommendation, more into that brand guidance, truly really helping your teams. Uh, really just achieve your goals uh, across across the region there in Europe and, and globally for ABM. We're super excited and we can't wait to roll it out across the business. Awesome. Well, thank you, Liz. I appreciate that. And thank you all for watching.